One of the highlights of the center is its ability to look out and, and foresee the future, if you will, for the real estate industry, and sustainability is a good example of that. And in the past, it's not been something that the market was really willing to pay for, and now the cost of doing a green building is, is much more manageable, and uh, tenants are demanding it. And yet over time, we realize that it's not just about new buildings, it's also about the four and a half million existing commercial buildings in the U.S. What do we do with those? How do we retrofit those buildings to be more cognizant about their energy use and their carbon emissions? I think there's going to be an increased emphasis on technology. We're learning how to use technology better to manage buildings, to design them, and I think being at MIT, Technology will be an increasing emphasis in the program as we go forward. I'd say looking out over the next 10 or even 25 years, one of the things that real estate is starting to do is to go global. And the truth is where cities are being built, it's not here. It's in Asia. It's in India, the Middle East. And to make it a better built environment than the one that we have created uh, in the Western uh, environment. This is uh, science at its best because a built environment will be there for 30, 50, 100 years so we are in a way determining what the future of a lot of people will be like. And the Center for Real Estate has a very sharp focus on how to incorporate best practice into the urbanization over the next 100 years.